Hello Beauty News family, welcome to this week's episode of The Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup for fun and sometimes to learn something. We upload new videos every Wednesday, so if you want to see more, don't forget to smash that subscribe button before we smash some flesh. So here we have a bunch of flesh beauty makeup products. These products were very, very kindly provided by Ali and I believe Rachel may have had a little hand in this as well so for anyone who is pumped to see this tell Ali and Rachel that you love them because we would not have been able to get our hands on these products without the help what we have here is two firm flesh thick sticks we have you heard that right guys yeah we have the lightest shade which is 01 and the name of this color is froth then we have 40 which is espresso we also have a flesh pot eye and cheek gloss this only comes in one shade and then we have a swipe flesh lip color this is in the one that I was desperate to get my hands on, 108, and the shade name is Swollen. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what this brand actually is, it is a new brand to Ulta, so it's only available at Ulta and the Flesh website. website yeah. So uh, this only pretty much ships in the US. Uh, Flesh is a brand that's created by the Revlon, like the company that yep. creates Revlon. Yep. Um, and it's sort of like a higher end brand that is designed to accommodate a bunch of different skin tones, which is why they've got 40 shades of foundation and they're sort of flesh themed. So what we're going to do with these two is destroy the darker one and swatch out the lighter one. But first we want to do a swatch of each, blend them out on the skin, see how they look on the skin, how far they'll go, and just compare the lightest and the darker shade in the range. This is 01 Froth, and we have been told that these have a different texture, they're more powdery. not very pigmented it's not very pigmented at all however it is very very light I'm gonna build it up for reference it's two swatches two <laughs> it feels like a normal like foundation stick they're kind of you know a little bit thick and you've got to sort of Work you know, it. yeah. Let's try number 40, Espresso. That doesn't blend as well. You can see the initial swipe. Like yeah, it's still, I know. It's still... hard to blend it out. Yeah, it's kind of like when it's on the skin, it's kind of like hard to move. So if we look close up, it does look like the white one almost has little flecks of white yeah. in it. It doesn't really smoothly sit or mesh well with the skin. Yeah. So I think that this one does look a little bit more powdery, but that's probably just the white pigment. Yeah. Like rep like it looks like it's powder. Yeah. Um, whereas this one looks like it blends better with the skin, but it, it still has like little dark spots. So yeah. uh, they just don't look like they sit super well with the skin. No, this feels like when you're trying to blend out a grease paint stick or a grease stick on your face when you're doing like special effects stuff, they're not super creamy. They kind of go on looking that way, but when it actually comes to moving them, it's kind of hard. Now, it might be good for longevity, but I don't know. We're not testing that today. Exactly. But you can see the shade differences, like yes. the lightest to the deepest. Yes. All right, let's move on to swatches. We've done two so far. I don't know how many I'll fit on an arm. So the first one is always trial and error. Yep.
All right, so here we are after 100. You can't really, <laughs> can't see it. The white one disappears into the table, but that's after 100 swatches. Compared to two swatches. Yes, so let's keep going. All right, 200 swatches down. We're almost there. Once that plastic bit starts scratching on my arm, we're going to call it quits and we'll dig out whatever's in there after we weigh, find out what's in the tip. Yeah. In, in the in tip. The flesh tip. Yeah, just the tip. <laughs> It's definitely done because at this point if you were still scratching that on your face you'd be getting barely any product and you'd have plastic scratching on your face. Alright so we got 260 swatches out of that. Now let's say you use four swatches yep. for a face. You're going to get about 65 applications. Yeah if you use say three it's more like 86. Yeah. Then it you're going to use a bit. It depends how much product. It depends how like the coverage you want yes exactly if you've used this product you know roughly how much you use so you can make your own calculations based off our 160 swatches now something weird that I noticed with this product was there was like these I don't know like not hairs but it was like fibers or something I don't know what it was but it was weird and they kept getting stuck in my arm hair every time I'd wipe it off it'd like pull on an arm hair I had a really slow painful wax throughout that whole experience um, but what we're gonna do now is uh, weigh this to find out what was in the tip and then we're gonna dig out the inside let's do it all right 4.16 grams in the tip Bark, bark. Um, so that's not bad it's you know okay it's not 4.6 grams that means you know you've got to dig in there lots of people do it so it's fine if that's if that's your thing uh, so let's dig it out the scooper oh oh that comes out cleanly it does plonk <laughs> plonk that would be an extra I don't know 50 swipes yeah probably Oh, looks like froth. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Like, penis. Froth. This would be terrible. Could you imagine, like, filming a video and be like, my shade is froth? My shade of the firm flesh thick, thick stick, stick is froth. Yeah, and that's what comes out, comes out of the tip. Mmm. <laughs> So 5.7 grams, it's over by 1.1 gram, which is good. However, this is essentially the size of two lipsticks. So yeah, it's over, but you're still not getting yeah. much. And if, much you, if you look at like the, the surface area of your lips compared to the surface area of your face, I don't know, something's not right here. Mm. <laughs> but there you go. It's stick foundation 5.6 grams or 5.7 grams sorry not bad. not bad we will point out that these are 18 us dollars which works out to three dollars and 16 cents per gram so look it is what it is flesh when we did the crayola beauty 
video we did this rolling mush thing guys and it was epic it was like <laughs> that was of, our, of our lives it was amazing it was like something you would see in lord of the rings or harry <laughs> potter like it was amazing guys it was so good so i am gonna try and do that again i am not as confident because this is bigger and i don't know how it's gonna go and like if it was long and it'd be all good but look let's try go flesh go I can't see what's happening. Is anything working? <laughs> Not really. Not really. <laughs> I hate you, Flash. Okay, massive fail. So just we'll try. <laughs> Look, it's actually really firm, guys. <laughs> Lives up I'm to not the name. even lying. Lives firm up to its name. Flesh thick stick is very firm. It's very hard to mush. Like it needs a lot of caressing. Yeah. Oh gosh, I wouldn't even call that caressing. That's that's assault. It looks like chocolate. Melted chocolate. It does look pretty delicious. It looks like brownie. Yeah, it does. It looks like the inside of a mushy brownie. Yeah. Yum, oh, yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, bubble gum. Let's scoop everything out and um, see if we can do a second way test. All right, so 5.77 grams in this one, which means it is consistent, which we like, we expect. Two thumbs up, flesh. Two well thumbs up. Two flesh thumbs, thumbs up. up. These are flesh thumbs. Here we have the flesh pot eye and cheek gloss. Now, our plan with this was to weigh it, scoop it into a beaker, weigh the empty container, put it back in the container, then eventually split it, but this is fucking beautiful guys and we actually don't want to lose any of this product because we would both like to use it So what we want to do is swatch it let you know what the consistency is like look at that Look at the duochrome look look are you looking? Keep looking. I'm looking. Look more. Oh, it's so amazing. <laughs> it's so pretty. So let's do let's do some swatching. It's so pretty and for reference, guys, this is a multi-purpose balm so of yeah. gloss. So you can wear it on your eyes, your cheeks, your lips. Yeah. And if you're wondering what the consistency feels like, it feels exactly like a lip gloss. Not too sticky. Um, but if you put this on your eyes, don't expect it to set. It's straight up gloss. If you love a dewy finish on your cheeks, you could definitely put it on there. But I also think this would look stunning on your lips. Yeah, I think mainly the lips. Uh, yeah. You can't really see it on camera, but it definitely has a bit of a sparkle. It has a bit of a sparkle, but you do lose that intense. Yeah, you lose it for sure. Which is so, so sad. It is the saddest thing that ever sadded, but... The saddest part of this video, that's for sure. I know, but it's pretty and I will still give it a go. Mm -hmm. And I think Kat will as well. Yeah, and let's just get another close up. Yeah, because that's the best bit. Oh my God, thank you, Ali. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What, what, was, the, what was the thing? Set your ray gun to stun. <laughs> pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Here we have the Swipe Flesh Lip Color in the shade Swollen. Yay. Swollen. It's my favorite word at the moment, thanks to Flesh Beauty. Uh, what we're going to do here is cut the fingerprint out. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Is this a cheek product it's or a lip a product? It's a lip product. It's a cream lip product and it's on a grid pan. Oh. Nice. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at how this looks! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so bad. What did I do? <laughs> it's like, this is like serial killer shit. This is so creepy. This is the so, creepiest fucking thing. It, that's like Ed Game business. It is.
that's as good as we're gonna get this. Uh, I'm gonna take some color and just swatch it and see. Oh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Not bad. Oh. It's like a brick red. Actually, you know what? I like that consistency. It's it's not too thick, but it's really pigmented. All right, 3.65 grams and it should contain 3.5, which is pretty good because, look, if you were desperate, you could still get your brush in there and get a lot of applications. All right, let's get our flesh back in its pot. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Spaghetti oh. <laughs> it sort of looks like spaghetti sauce. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely not the cleanest red No, no. Look, this is a problem with digging uh, lip products out of their pans. They don't like it. They they refuse to go back in. And just to clarify for people that are screaming at us from home saying, why don't you melt it? Uh, often when you melt these sorts of products, they don't completely solidify back to yeah. the way they were. So it's best to sort of uh, just smush them back in and hope for the best because often they just turn into a sticky mess. It's true. But there is one thing we can try to make it look good <laughs> as new. I agree. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. That looks like fucking Sauron's <laughs> eye from the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> See, it's our new epic. <laughs> it's a three parter. Come back to the next trilogy. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Good. This video, I don't know about you guys, very entertaining for us. Sure made me swell. Yeah. I'm swollen within. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it for us today. We want to first say a massive thank you to Ali and Rachel, if you played a part in this, Rachel. I believe she did. I, I believe she, I believe she did. Massive thank you. This particular product, Kat and I are going to, like, split it, and we're going to play with it. Expect that to see, expect to see that all over my face oh, in the coming. I know, I know. Oh. How can, how can we, how can we not? But essentially what we have here is little foundation sticks that went surprisingly far. We also have whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, flesh, like there's no, there's nothing dodgy obviously going on with the products. It is what it is. They've just got a funny name. Yep. Yeah. And there is a lot of innuendo that we can play with. And we like that. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye, Fleshy.